What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video, we're going to talk about Phantoms. Dude, this is literally the coolest NFT platform I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of them. I've seen Axe Infinity, but dude, this pixelated art, the NFT game, the gamification of the actual NFTs, it is a game changer in my opinion, guys. Fee fi fo phantoms. Don't FOMO in and mint a phantom. All right, yeah, that didn't really rhyme at all, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, it's like one in the morning and I, I gotta get a life. I'm just kidding, guys. I love doing this. This is like the best stuff. I love digging into this junk. I'm like a crypto nerd. Let's go ahead and talk about phantoms. What is so cool about it? First off, guys, you need to know this is a NFT platform and it does have a lot of gamification in it and you can even duel with your guys. Be careful when you do that. Your guy could die or girl. And we're gonna explain a couple of features. But first off, let's go ahead and break down a couple things. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys are new to crypto and you just saw this pixelated art and you're like, wow, what the snap? What the pants? I'm about to FOMO in. Let's check it out. Well, let's break down what NFTs are. Well, NFTs are non-fungible tokens. So for example, a dollar, you can exchange $1 for another dollar. That is fungible. Something that is not fungible is something like a painting or a trading card with a serial number. So like a limited edition Charizard type of thing. Um, well, it depends. If there's multiple ones, then it's just going to be a non-fungible token with a limited supply. Phantoms are NFTs. They're all unique. They're all different. There are several million different combinations that you can get. I think it's actually in the billions, but we're going to go ahead and break it down and show you guys. Phantoms, they are created art each based on a completely unique KiCak 256 hash. So we'll show you guys how to do the hashing too so you guys can mint your own. Um, you can also name your own phantoms to anything that you want. And the supply of phantoms are infinite right now. But they do have a bonding curve. So don't get your panties in a wad and be like, well, why would I buy an NFT that is unlimited? <laughs> don't worry. Look, just check this bonding curve out. In fact, this bonding curve is literally like the cat's meow. Just check this bonding curve out. And this is so true because I was looking at minting a phantom and or phantom uh, about three days ago and it cost it would have cost me 62 FTM tokens. So 62 phantom. I ended up buying one at, I think it was like 80 phantom and then the next one at 102 phantom. Who knows what it is now by the time you guys watch this video. But how a bonding curve works is as more and more phantoms are minted, the cost and price to mint one is going to go up. So eventually it will be, yes, there will be an infinite supply, but eventually it will be priced out. Can you imagine minting one of these phantoms for what? I don't know, 100 million phantom? I don't know, we'll see. But right now there is 10,000 in supply, hence why we're at around 102. So once we hit around 11,000, it'll be 150 phantom. 12,000, around 190. Uh, but you guys can see how this bonding curve works. If you guys want to pause the screen and you guys can look at it, maybe by the time you watch this video, we'll be over 20,000. Then you'll just have to be like, hmm, I wonder what the cost would be. So minting them now, I mean, if it does take off, this is just something to keep in mind. And these suckers do die. Um, but we'll explain if they can die or not. And can you revive them? Yeah, don't worry. Stay tuned. So they have a token in the economy. It's called Foo. Foo has a total supply of 100 milli. 10 milli was released in the initial launch. So of that... 10 million, how did they distribute it? Well, 2% was offered at a IDO. And then if you participated in that IDO, 5% was distributed via airdrops. And then another 2 million were supplied via SushiSwap and the rest went to the team. So a very small allocation went to the team and the rest of the 90 million is locked into the four year contract. This is possibly gonna go towards farming, partnerships, etc. So we will see what happened. There's not a complete and entire roadmap on this, 
but those tokens are locked for four years. So theoretically, they are off the market. A portion of them is being used for farming, so that's something to keep in mind. Here's where you can get the addresses for the FUM token and the FOO token. This is what you guys need to go by is this collector's guide. Um, we're going to come back to this. Uh, the Well, actually, let's finish the questions. we got to stay focused, right? What are phantoms? We already explained it. They're NFTs. Um, if you haven't seen what the NFTs look like, they look similar to this. Or even something like these goofy guys. Can phantoms be traded or sold? Yes, on their marketplace. You can sell them for phantoms. And not the phantoms, but phantom, like the token. So what is Foo Token? Foo Token is basically the funding token for the actual protocol. And just so you guys understand the tokenomics on it, it does have 100 million of that token supply. So every time you mint one of these phantoms, all that phantom token that you spend goes to buy back Foo and burn it. Yeah, burn it. And when you guys are participating in the marketplace, 5% of the tokens that go into the battle because you got to pay to get into the battle i'll explain it later five percent goes to burn five percent to the team and the other 90 well if you win you win so when will staking of food be available well it's actually available now so you can provide liquidity and earn some juicy rewards right now it's like 600 percent or something um it was like a thousand maybe two days ago but Hey, it is what it is. You can also join their Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. And where can you learn about the attributes? Let's go and get into the fun stuff, guys. Now we listen to all the boring stuff. I always do the boring junk first so you guys don't watch. And then all the people who really want to learn about this actually get to get to the goodies. So here's a couple things you guys need to know about this. Obviously, first off, like I said, it actually is a couple billion. So these are all the different random phantoms that are possible. And it's all just random number generating, hashing, and all kinds of algorithms. You literally go to this section right up here. You go to mint, and it's super cool. All you do is you do find phantoms, and it actually mines on your computer. So my computer is probably going to get a bit slow while we're doing this. But it's okay. It's because I'm, I'm hashing for the better. They're probably mining Bitcoin with it. I'm just kidding, guys. They aren't mining Bitcoin. We're actually hashing algorithms in order to find a phantom. So sometimes it is quicker, depending on the type of computer you have. And sometimes it is slower. Let's try to do a 32 hash. See if this will speed it up a bit. Man, boy. Well, what the junk? That thing is taking forever. Better be a good one. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the other junk while we're letting that sucker load. All right, so obviously like a blank guy, he's pretty boring, but I don't know. I, I like blank. Blank is pretty awesome. I feel like if no one mints it, then it's going to be popular. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, you guys can see all the different stats and features, which is more rare and which isn't. So obviously to mint this, um, there's an 81% chance. So it's highly likely you'll get that. And then this guy with the background of the lamp stand, he feels like he's cool, but the lamp is like, bro, I'm taller than you, so forget you. So he's got 7.81%. And then this guy's like, whoa, UFO is going right by my face. Uh, he's 7.03. And then this guy's like, I'm on the moon, boys. So he's 3.52 because it's more rare. And then this guy's like, I'm looking freaking freaking fresh. So he gets 3.91%. And this guy, he's just naked. So he's 36.72. Poor guy. Dude, get some clothes on. Get that nakedness away. Anyways, you guys get the point. So obviously it's pretty popular to get something like, well, not actually it's the opposite of popular. Wait, it is popular. It's just rare. 1.76% uh, chance to get something like this. Uh, same thing with Don Juan. So if you guys want a Don Juan suit, you can get a 1.76% to get Don Juan. And then you got military uniforms. I believe, maybe, just maybe, these might make you stronger in battle. Just maybe. Just maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And then you got the capes. Um, capes, I really don't know what they do except for rarity. So get that black cape because that makes you more rare. So check this out. We can either do rare dress Don Juan with a black cape and uh, let's see, get something with um, a moon in the background, a full moon, uh, no shirts. Yeah, yeah, Don Juan shirt. Uh, what are the most rare eyes? Get the eyes down left 
eyes. That's like Pac-Man or something like that. Um, yeah, these li literally look like Pac-Mans. And get the one with the black bow tie. Wait, there's more. Get the one with a mole. And get the one with... Oh, dude. Get, get them with these opera glasses. Those are pretty fire. And get one with this crazy brown wig. I wouldn't even want that, man. I'd rather have... This. Man, actually, this white wig. That's super rare. 880 Phantom for the minimum? Dude, there's only one on the market. I know what I'm going to do. The white blue bow. I'm going to start minting. Let's see if we got one. Ah, oh, dude, we lost. We got this guy who looks like he's drunk. Forget it. We'll, we'll spin again. Let's see what we get while we're talking. Find another. It actually finds him pretty quick, but it takes like a few seconds. This one's pretty popular too. So like the green bows. Um, this guy is cool. This blonde hair. He looks like me. I'm going to call him Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, but you guys get the point. You look for the more rare ones. But if you guys are just looking for battle, this is the most important stats you want to look for. This, he guy just doesn't do anything. He doesn't do trash. You can't use him in battle. This rose, it's weak sauce. It's going to get burnt out by this fiery lamp. And that fiery, fiery lamp is going to get roasted by the torch. Basically, what this means is rose is one. Uh, lamp is two. Torch is three. It's worth better. Um, the sword and the mask, those are both the same. Those are a little bit better. And, well, the Kala, or I'm saying that wrong, but we're just going to say the, the candlestick thing um, is the best, believe it or not. And then, of course, you can have a pet. Um, the pet doesn't really mean much, but I got one of these with a black dog. I'm pretty proud of him. Well, actually her, so it's pretty cool. Oh, Dorothy Janetti. Sorry, we're going to find another one. Bye. Um, anyways, uh, when you guys mint one of these jokers, you can actually m sell them here. You can sell them, especially if they're an uncommon, or you can kill them uh, if you want by just trying all you can in battle. So you can get some of the, well, the RIP tokens. Why are RIP tokens important? Well, you're going to need them in dueling. So check this junk out. So if we were to duel, you can learn more about the duels here. Dueling is super important to understand because your phantom can die. Even though there is an infinite amount, your phantom can die, but he can be revived. You must have a weapon. So in order to do this, you have to have one of those to fight. Second is duelist must wager 100 foo and you will gain 180 foo if you win. So 50-50 for each side. 5% is going to be burned. 5% goes to the team. Then you have different things that you can earn, obviously. And first off is leveling up. Leveling up is super cool because everyone likes to get level 99 stats. I mean, dude, if you guys played Pokemon, everyone knows if you didn't get that level 99 Pokemon, you ain't playing enough Pokemon. So you got to get that level 99. Take them all out, especially on the Elite Four. Then you got the graveyard. The graveyard, this is where you can revive them. In order to do this, you're going to need some 20 RIP tokens. You can only get them from, well, when someone dies. Right now, there's only 198 on the market. This guy actually resurrected one. He must have a good phantom. He spent 20 of these tokens. <sighs> uh, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe it was something very rare, classic, or something fancy to him. We printed a Diane Folly. Uh, trash, forget you. Next. We want one with white hair and green bow ties and maybe even a, a chandelier so I can fight her in battle or with him. Uh, but anyways, that's, yeah, you just meant those. And you can sell them over here at any time if you want. Some things you want to look for if you are buying them. Here's a cool feature you guys can use. You can just be like price because everyone likes to buy the lowest price. But then again, you get what you pay for. So I would say get one. Oh, mint number. Let's do mint number one. Let's see what that's worth. That's probably worth a lot because there's very few. So it's got to load for us because we're mining some phantoms. I'm going to exit out of this page so we can speed it up. But anyways, you guys get the point. You can mine a phantom, battle and battle, as long as it's got a weapon and so on. And you use the death coins. Um, players will also receive additional foo like for bonuses for participating in matchmaking beating extra difficult opponents, opponents, and sending opponents to the graveyard. So if the 1 in 15 chance ends up dying, well, boom, you get a extra bonus. So good for you. One other thing, when you revive that junk, you get a blue-eyed phantom. Why is a blue-eyed phantom fire souls? It's because they're immune. Like, 
they can't die. They're just, boom. They got blue eyes, so better watch out. This guy, if you guys ever want to battle someone, battle Zeus. He will get you wrecked. It's not even going to load for me because my computer's mining so many phantoms. Sorry, guys. I was mining the mess out of them. Oh, but here's on the market. Oh, this is... We went the wrong way, guys. We needed to go mint in descending order. So let's see if we can find it. But let's check out Zeus. Look at this guy. He's got two chandeliers and he's like, bro, no, I'm sorry, not chandeliers, but candelabras or whatever. We're going to call him candlesticks. He's ranked 44th, bro. This guy is complete and utter wreckage. He's like going to destroy everyone. But anyways, you guys get the point. This is what it is. Look at this. Accepted offer, 750 phantom. Offer for 750. Man, what a Chad. This is a good token. He offered it for two. Oh, dude, he was resurrected. Sent to the graveyard. Renamed Zeus. Oh, yeah, dude, he's got the blue eyes. Good for him. All right, well, you guys get the point. You guys can duel your phantoms here. Uh, that's a little bit about how the project works. Um, also, again, remember, when you mint these tokens, all the tokens or the total amount of phantom you spend that goes to buy back foo and burn it. You can actually farm this token right here. It's paying out like 764% interest. So it's pretty fire sauce. And if you guys want to duel, you guys can duel in here. Make sure you guys got the weapon of choice. Shout out, dude. If you guys get a black dog or I mean that white hair with the blue bows, let me know, man. Leave a comment in the description below if you got that joker. If you got it, I'm buying it. Or actually, if you can give it to me, that would be cool. I'm just kidding. Um, I'll buy it. Uh, I love these things. Well, I, don't, I don't like the hair, but like I like the concept of the gamification. It is so cool. And they got a bunch of other junk coming soon, guys. They're talking about future products, including Phantom, NFT wallets, marketplaces, and more, guys. This is a newer project, and it's still like the coolest game on Phantom. Guys, you know the saying, fee fi fo fum Don't FOMO into buying a phantom. Actually, go ahead and FOMO. Of course, not financial advice. As always, guys, let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 17 versus... Man, guys, I got to get some sleep. It's like 3... No, it's like 2 a.m. right now. Proverbs chapter 17 versus 8. A bribe is seen as a charm by the one who gives it. They think success will come at every turn. That's so true, man. Have you ever gone to someone who's like, bro, I'll pay you to like help me out. And then you're like, oh, dude, you'll know they'll take it. And then instead they're like, nah, bro, I'm good. Or, bro, I'll take double what you're offering. And you're like, what? What are you kidding? Guys, that's the point. A bribe is seen as a charm by one who gives it. So like if I'm bribing someone, I expect them to take my bribe. But like... <laughs> They they think it, success will come at every turn. So like they think, oh, okay, they're gonna accept my bribe, but in return, it's like, well, if they don't, what are you gonna do? But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, well, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you could like, subscribe, bell button, that would be nice. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Dogs, gotta say thanks to the patrons: Sean Bot, Da Man, Tariq Lou, T.L. King, J.P. P.J. Bernito, Taco Nacho. Matias, Matt there is, DMT Coats. Isn't that a band? Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bomb, bomb. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit 100 bucks. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. 
All right, so what the pants is Celsius and Block 5.4. Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it